This is a special day for our graduates. We here at the college are very glad you are able to be here and share it with them and with us. Soon you will hear a Southwestern String Ensemble playing Edward Elgar's traditional graduation march pomp and circumstance. When that happens, a faculty marshal will lead the procession into the stadium from the south entrance. Following the marshal will be the stage party, including the president of the college, the provost, the registrar, the campus minister, and the recipient of the United Methodist Exemplary Teacher Award for 2017. After the stage party will come the faculty. The faculty marching order is determined by academic rank and by numbers of years of service at the college. Ranked faculty are followed by affiliate faculty from both professional studies and the main campus. The faculty will form two lines through which the graduates will march on their way to their seats. After the graduates are in their places, the faculty will march to their location in the stands. Assisting the two faculty marshals will be junior marshals who have attained high academic standing during their years at Southwestern. They are wearing ivory robes with purple stoles. Notice the flags behind the stage. They are part of our Builders Around the World tradition. This year, we have undergraduates from Antigua, China, U.S. Virgin Islands, Saudi Arabia, as well as the United States of America. Inside Stewart Fieldhouse, flags of our professional studies graduates are on display. They are from Gabon, the United Kingdom, China, Saudi Arabia, England, and the United States of America. On festive occasions, we fly the flags of countries from which our students have come. Those flags are lining the keyhole drive at the base of the 77 steps. Here are a few housekeeping announcements. Public restrooms are located in the lobby of Stewart Fieldhouse, on the lower level east side of Stewart Fieldhouse, in the Roy L. Smith Student Center, and in the Christie Administration Building directly behind the stadium. The nearest handicap accessible restroom is at the rear of the press box here in Jan Stadium. Water may be purchased from the concession stand at the south end of the stadium. Commencement is being telegassed live today inside the Richardson Performing Arts Center in the Christie Administration Building. This space is air conditioned. Also, a webcast of the ceremony can be viewed by following the Commencement 2017 link at www.gosc.com. You are welcome to move closer to the stage to take pictures of your graduate after he or she has been captured on film by the official photographers. As the time approaches for your graduate to receive a congratulatory scroll and handshake from the president, make your way toward the bottom of the stadium. Please do not go onto the track. After your graduate's picture is taken in front of the flags, he or she will return to their seat. As soon as you've taken your pictures, please move back to your seat to make way for the next photographer. Again, welcome to Southwestern College and congratulations to all our graduates and their families.
please stand. Let us pray. We invoke your blessing on this day of celebration for all the gifts our students and our college. Gifts of intellect, service, strength, love, creativity, and song. We thank you for creating us all equal yet unique to be the individuals we see here today. For it is in our differences that we make our community stronger. As we celebrate these students' achievements, may we also celebrate you. We thank you for all who have inspired us to grow, pushed us out of our comfort zones, engaged us in hearty debate, and allowed us to pursue our own knowledge. As Dr. Seuss once said, we are meant to move mountains. Which mountain will you move? This is our task, but it is no small feat. As we move forward from this year, if we can't move a mountain, we pray for the knowledge, hope, courage, and freedom to climb. Amen. Good afternoon. Welcome to the commencement exercises for the South, Southwestern College class of 2017. You may all be seated. Families and friends of the graduates, you have come from many directions and some from great distances to be here today, and we extend to each one of you our special gratitude for being here today and also for sharing these students with us over the past years. At this time, I would like to introduce Scott Hecht, who serves as the chairperson of our Board of Trustees. Scott graduated from Southwestern in 1990 before going on to Harvard Law School to earn his Juris Doctorate in 1993. Since then, he's been practicing law in Kansas City at Stinson Leonard Street, where he's in charge of insurance litigation. Mr. Scott Hecht. As trustees, we're tasked with ensuring that Southwestern College is fulfilling its mission to help students realize their potential. Mr. President, I'm pleased on behalf of the Board of Trustees to recognize the class of 2017 as Mound Builders who are ready to serve the world and make a difference. Graduates, I applaud and thank you, your families and friends, for your dedication to achieving this milestone. We wish you all the best and trust that you will continue to build on the success that you have found here at Southwestern College. Congratulations. Thank you, Scott, for your leadership and also for being here with us today. So graduates, welcome to your special day. This is the moment that you've been waiting for. You've been working hard and making sacrifices. You've been dedicating yourself to your studies. And all of this, the seal and the flags, the regalia, the music, all of, this are, all of these uh, items are symbolic of your achievement of the transition that you are making. They mark the fact that you have successfully completed the requirements for a college degree. And of course, the requirements for a degree are not simply a list of courses. You've been required to think, to work hard, you've been encouraged to critically examine ideas, to explore difficult questions, and have the courage to find answers that may be different than we originally thought. You have learned how to learn. These skills, the ones that enable you to learn and to think, to explore questions and find answers, these skills will be with you for the rest of your life, and for the rest of your life, you will be a graduate of Southwestern College, and we are very proud of you. We now have three awards to present. Professor Fran Jabara's success story is the classic American dream. He was one of nine children born to parents who had emigrated to the United States from Lebanon. Mr. Jabara gra graduated at the top of his class from Burton High School, and then he attended Oklahoma A&M University. He graduated with a degree in accounting in 1948 before going on to Northwestern to earn his master's degree. His first job out of college was teaching accounting state in 1949. 
He would teach for the next 40 years. In 1977, Mr. Jabara founded the Center for Entrepreneurship and served at its as its founding director. Mr. Jabara died in 2015 at the age of 90. His most important role was as a mentor for entrepreneurs, among whom are included Dan and Frank Carney, the founders. Today, we honor two Southwestern College students who show the spirit of leadership exemplified in the life of the man who instituted the Professor Fran Jabara Leadership Award. Two students, one man and one woman, who are graduating today who have been leaders during their college years and who show great promise to make significant contributions to society as leaders in the future. These students are Aiden Goodrich and Becky Gomez. A Aiden and Becky, if you would come forward and join me on stage to accept your awards. And while they're making their way to the stage, I would like to tell you a little bit about these students. So Aiden came to Southwestern from Independence, Kansas. He will be graduating today with a Bachelor of Science in Biology and a minor in Leadership. He's a member of the leadership team and additionally has served the college as a resident assistant and student ambassador. He's been a member of Student Government Association and the SC Philanthropy Board. He is active with Beta 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 and Pi Gamma Mu. Aiden has completed internships with the Legacy Regional Community Foundation, with SeaWorld Orlando, and most recently with the Georgia Aquarium as a Marine Mammal Animal Training Intern. After graduation, he will begin work as a husbandry assistant in the animal training department of SeaWorld San Antonio. Aiden is wonderfully compassionate, an exceptional leader, and an excellent student. Becky Gomez is from Houston, Texas. <laughs> Today, she is receiving a Bachelor of Arts in Biology with a minor in business. She's a cross country and track and field athlete. She has been president of the student organization It's On Us and a member of Beta Beta Beta. She has served as an officer for Student Foundation as well as serving as an orientation leader for two years. Last summer, Becky completed an internship at the Texas Wildlife Rehabilitation Center where she had hands-on experience rehabilitating wild animals. Becky is an amazingly positive force on campus. She is active, hardworking, and determined, and she lives out the leadership valued in this award. Becky and Aiden, congratulations. <laughs> Please join me one more time in congratulating Becky and Aiden. Charles H. and Berta R. Kopke have been among the college's most important and generous donors. A member of the class of 1944, Charles is a retired vice president of Commerce Bank in Kansas City, and he has spoken often of the advantage his liberal arts education at Southwestern gave him as he was preparing for a well-rounded life and success in the business world. The excellence of the faculty during his years at SC prompted him to endow the institution's most prestigious teaching award. The honor of speaking at Southwestern College's commencement goes to a faculty member chosen for outstanding teaching and for overall contributions to the college. This year, the recipient of the Charles H. and Verda R. Kopke Distinguished Teaching Award is Professor Tammy McEwen. As Tammy is making her way to the stage, let me tell you a little bit about Dr. McEwen. She's a biologist, and she's known on campus for her exciting teaching style. She engages students, and she motivates them to seek out new ideas, to consider innovative ways to problem solve, and to reconsider insights in exciting new ways. Beyond imparting knowledge, Dr. McEwen is driven to invite and inspire students to question and test their assumptions. She motivates them to discover ways to explore new knowledge and possibilities and have the courage and the confidence to accept the answers they find. 
It's obvious on this campus that students request Dr. respect Dr. McEwen. Her passion for her subject area is evident, and her high academic standards are unchallenged and she is able to maintain those standards and the respect of her students because she also holds herself to high personal expectations to provide the best experience each time she steps into the classroom. She is known for her consistent assessment and revision of her courses to make sure she's doing everything she can to ensure that her students are well prepared, come on up Dan, uh, for their career and graduate school success. She sees student success as her mission and personal responsibility. Her dedication to Southwestern and the values that we hold are evident in the leadership and service she provides as well, from attending builder camp with our freshmen to assisting with summer camps for middle school students. From her service as an officer of the faculty to her leadership on the college's strategic plan, Tammy makes a difference at this college. In a recent video featuring our senior students, Southwestern student Becky Gomez, who was just up here, was asked what she will miss most about Southwestern College. And Becky answered simply that she will miss the Tammy McEwen. Please join me in congratulating and welcoming the 2017 winner of the Charles and Berta Kopke Distinguished Teaching Award to a much beloved professor, the Tammy McEwen. Can you present this and I'll take a bow. Congratulations. Right. Thank you. And do you know that you Thank you, um, President Andrews, Provost Frederick, members of the Board of Trustees, distinguished guests, parents, students, graduates, families, faculty, staff, and treasured colleagues. It is such an honor to be here with you today and to accept this award. I would especially like to thank Charles and Verda Kopke who established this award to recognize excellence in teaching. I am beyond humbled to be included in the same category with the distinguished faculty who have previously received this acknowledgement. Many of those previous recipients are in this audience today, and I have the honor and privilege of collaborating with them frequently. It is truly a privilege to work at Southwestern College, an institution that values teaching. It is gratifying to be recognized for doing a job about which I am passionate. When I first started working on my PhD, I told my classmates and my advisors that I did not want to spend the rest of my life conducting research at an R1 institution and fighting to, to obtain grant funding dollars. But instead, it was my intention to one day teach at a small liberal arts college. That statement was met with consternation and dismay. And I was told in no uncertain terms that I really shouldn't repeat it to anybody especially the members of my dissertation committee. But I persisted, and here I am today with you, and I am so fortunate to have achieved my goal. President Andrews did tell me that it was customary for the recipient of this award uh, to give a short speech, and I would like to take a few minutes to do just that, and I would particularly like to address the graduates. As you may know, the theme of the 2016-2017 academic year at Southwestern has been knowledge, and that's a great topic for a teacher to get to talk about. Knowledge is defined in the Oxford Dictionary as facts, information, and skills acquired through experience or education, the theoretical or practical understanding of a subject. It is also defined as the sum of what is known. According to this definition, as college graduates, you have obtained knowledge. You have learned facts and information and have acquired skills specific to your particular areas of study, whether that be music, theater, biology, chemistry, education, athletic training, psychology, philosophy, religion, English, communications, journalism, computer science, accounting, business, or any of the other areas that I've inadvertently failed to mention. As college graduates, you are about to embark on new adventures and hopefully implement this knowledge that you've spent the last four or so years acquiring. It was Sir Francis Bacon in, 15, uh, in 1597 
who published the quote, Ipsa Scientia Potestas Est, which translates to knowledge itself is power. I believe that Sir Francis Bacon's quote still rings true today, some 420 years later. Knowledge is power. But as a similar anonymous quote about knowledge states, knowledge is only power when it's used. I propose that your knowledge is your superpower, regardless of which superhero you channel. And I hope you use your accumulated knowledge to its full extent to fuel the pursuit of your dreams and passions as you start your journey beyond Southwestern College. Please realize that obtaining knowledge, learning, if you will, is a lifelong endeavor. Your personal quest for knowledge is still in the early stages of the journey. You should never, ever stop trying to increase your knowledge, whether it be specific knowledge for a profession through medical school or law school or graduate school in whatever your area of interest or discipline may be, or continuing education to keep up certification or licensure for a chosen profession, teaching, nursing, athletic training, accounting, or if it's knowledge for a new profession or interest. But most importantly, I challenge all of you here today, graduates as well as every one of you in the audience, to keep pursuing knowledge for the simple joy of learning something new. One day, I plan to finally learn to play the piano for the simple pleasure of taking on a new challenge and developing a new skill. Earlier, I talked about graduate school and sharing my dream of wanting to teach at a small liberal arts college. But there's another part to that story. I did not start that journey until I was 40 years old. I know, to you graduates, that seems really old. I did not take the traditional path through college, but I did make it through college. And as I was finishing my master's degree, I knew that I wanted to continue on and earn my PhD, mainly because I wanted to teach at a small college. I decided that it was worth the time, the effort, and for me, the enormous risk, because I did not want to wake up one day when it was too late and regret never having tried. I tried, and with the support of my husband and my family and good friends, I succeeded. And here I am with you today, sharing and using the knowledge I gained in graduate school on a daily basis. Learning about new topics can open doors to new horizons. Knowledge regarding many diverse topics will help you make informed decisions and allow you to be productive citizens in your communities, states, and nations. In the current climate of claims of alternative facts and fake news, the only guaranteed way to protect yourself is to rely on your personal superpower, your knowledge, to guide you in the decisions that you make. And the broader and more diverse your knowledge base, the better and the richer and the more gratifying your life will be. When we come together as communities and pool our accumulated knowledge, we can work together and by combining our individual talents and areas of expertise, we can accomplish great things and conquer difficult tasks. For example, I have a good friend from graduate school who works for MD Anderson Cancer Center. She uses her knowledge of immunology to work alongside other scientists from various areas of specialization to develop translational therapies that are on the cutting edge of treatments seeking to cure cancer. Now, knowledge does not always guarantee that you will make the best decisions. But if you rely on your knowledge to inform your decisions, you will always know why you made a particular decision at a particular time. And if you make a mistake, it is okay. The world will keep on spinning and you will recover. Making mistakes is one of the best ways in which you learn. And the most important outcome of a mistake is the knowledge that you gain from that experience. In closing, I urge you to explore the world beyond Southwestern College. I dare you to try new experiences. Trust in your superpower, your knowledge. Add, <clears throat> excuse me, use that superpower, that knowledge for good. Add your individual contribution to the collective whole. 
And above all, I challenge each and every one of you to always strive to learn new things and to always seek to increase your knowledge. Congratulations, graduates. Continue to build on that base that you have started. Charles and Verda Kopke, President Andrews, Southwestern College and guests, thank you again for this great honor and this opportunity to speak to you today. Our students are deserving of our congratulations for their diligence, their hard work, and perseverance to take on and meet the challenges that they have faced to achieve their academic success today. Moreover, I would like to call your attention to your program where you will note the graduates who we hold up today with highest distinction for their academic excellence. They distinguish themselves with cum laude, magna cum laude, summa cum laude. That means with honor or with praise, with high honor or with great praise, and with highest honor among our graduates today. President Andrews, at this time it is my pleasure and my honor on behalf of the faculty of Southwestern College to present to you the members of the graduating class of 2017, candidates for the following degrees. Master of Arts in Teaching, Master of Business Administration, Master of Education, Master of Science in Leadership, Master of Science in Management, Master of Science in Security, in Admin Security Administration, and Doctor of Education. Graduates, please stand. Please stand all members of the graduating class of 2017 as well the majors the degrees of bachelor of arts bachelor of general studies bachelor of music bachelor of science bachelor of science in athletic training bachelor of science in nursing members of the class of 2017 through the authority vested in me by the board of trustees of southwestern college i confer upon you this bachelor's degree, allowing you all the rights and privileges pertaining thereto, and present you with this diploma as permanent recognition of your attainment. Congratulations, graduates. <laughs> graduates, as is custom within the academy at this time, please move your tassel to the left side of your cap, signifying your new level of academic achievement. <laughs> Graduates, at this time, please follow the instructions of the junior marshal as you begin to approach the stage. Bachelor of Arts. Alexander S. Wilkin. Stephen Nicholas Clayton. Megan Elizabeth Morrow. William Leslie Wade. Allison Petrovich. Andy Lynn Young, Juliana May Smarsh, Carlene Rose Dick, Hannah Nicole House. Taylor Autumn Forrest. 
Kylie Alexis Stamper. Garrett Austin Chapman. Christy A. Chris. Braden Michael Baker. Sydney Mikhail Shields. Gregory Refner. Daniel Adam Refner. Tana Carol Tyler. Sarah Louie. Robert Patrick Hernandez. Caitlin Francis Litchfield. Kayla Danae McCulkla. Samantha K. Lang. Abigail Claire Warnke. Matthew Lee Custard. Jacob Scott Jimerson. Michael Donovan Bell. Jeffrey Shannon. Allison Flynn. Caitlin Lee Hecker. Kendra Elise Gabrielle. Jonah Nicholas Fingston. Brian Lynn Peck. Landon Blake Fox. Sisyphus Henderson II. Mario A. Esparza. Caitlin Dawn McLaughlin. Jonathan Tyler Schmidt. Joshua Imani Howard. Michelle Lachey Parker. Jennifer Lynn Myers. Brady Chase Keith. Alexandria Ilana Shimp. Stephanie Elizabeth Soto. Leslie Leanne Landall. Christopher James Lane. Wellston Fulton Lavington. Shayla Marie Talkington Sai. Rose Elizabeth Benjamin. 
Tristan Renee Alstead. Brenda Sue Dene. Abigail Lee Easter. Rebecca Marcella Gomez. Haley Augusta Blevin. Pardon? Joseph Nysis. Enok Aniki Fuk Yukem. Braden. Braden Cole Langston. Yeah. Bachelor of General Studies. Anthony Savoy Sims Jr. Sierra Lynn Ross. Destiny Danielle Forge. Kidru Chan. Vanessa De La Cruz Suavez. Bachelor of Music. Caitlin Grace. Holler. <laughs> Bachelor of Science. Robbie Raquel Truax. Jamie Sparks. David O. Moore. Patrick Travis Mulvey. Ricardo Hagaro. Vaughn Glenn Van Dam. Laride Connerly. Quentin R. Hannafin. Mackenzie Clapp. Preston C. Black. Sarah Ruth Viquez. Javier Alejandro Cianuki. <laughs> Valerie Garza. <laughs> Rebecca L. Stoddard. Michaela Andrea Gray. Briley Ann Ware. Kinsey Elizabeth Taylor. Lady Amanda Adams. Katrina Rose Wingfield. Scott E. Garcia. D. 
Dina Minerva White. Quadarius Maurice Fitz. Nicole Leanne Mound. Katerina Elizabeth Frank. Sarah Suzanne Haley. Sylvia Sahara Alexander. Karen S. Drake. Kinsey Elizabeth Williams. Joshua Daniel Peckinpah. Christopher Michael Remington. Chad Allen Carson. Benjamin Charles Johnston. Zachary Scott Meeker. Lacey Michelle Keeler. Robert Bradley Mader. Brian K. Hudson. Matthew J. Rawl. Mohammed Ali Al Sharamani <laughs> Ilibitrim Adula Alahazari <laughs> Moni B. Neal. Christopher J. Cox. Deloja E. Moore. Sadie Jane Fowl. Savannah J. Cairo. Seth Gregory Topham. Aiden L. Goodrich. Dylan Gordon Good. Stephanie Jean Lopez. Elijah James Rhoda. Audrey L. Wright. Lori Roser. Bachelor of Science, Bachelor of Science in Athletic Training, Thomas E. Cyphers, Jr. Gina Lynn Belt. Courtney Virginia Christine Jones. Heather Gilmore.
Jerry Franz Jones. Cody Wade Walther. Kayla Bethany Demel. Greg Michael Thurber. Bailey. Bailey Dawn Collier. Abigail Marie Woods. Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Jennifer Marie Conrad. Yazani Margarita Alvarez Alvarado. Flora Elizabeth Diaz. Lacey K. Myers. Amber Darling. Ladies and gentlemen, the Southwestern College graduating class of 2017. Educational institutions are communities of learners and teachers at various stages of their lives and careers. Southwestern faculty members are first and foremost teachers. The worth of the degrees granted today rests on the efforts of this great faculty to inspire and to teach. Teaching is a most noble profession and this faculty does great justice to that profession. Would the faculty of Southwestern College please stand to receive our recognition and applause. Now, would all those who have received Southwestern College degrees today please stand. Many of you have heard the applause and cheers of your parents and grandparents, your families and friends as your names were called today. I invite all of you now to look in that direction and applaud them for their support of you during your years here at Southwestern. Class of 2017, you are now officially graduated. You have, joined, you have joined a line of graduating classes more than 125 years long. Each class forms a link in the chain of Mound Builder alumni who have come before you and who are waiting to help you. Mound Builders are everywhere and they are watching. They're waiting to help you out and watching for you to succeed. Now that you are a graduate, you are taking your place in that chain, you have joined a very special group today, and we're proud of you. You are always a mound builder. Congratulations again.
2017 receive this benediction as your classes and your grading are now complete may you continue to seek knowledge in all that you do as the speeches conclude may you continue to have courage to use your voice to pronounce justice and peace in the communities that surround you as the fanfare cease may you sing hope even in the darkest and the loneliest of places as you graduate today, may your achievements lead to continued growth and freedom. And as builders in a world without boundaries, may you be led by God's spirit to bring joy, to offer healing, wholeness, and beauty to every place in the world. Go now in the one who has created you and the one who loves you. Amen. <laughs>